Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and I'm back with more Everyday RC. And would you take a look at that, huh? It's the new face of the Everyday RC channel. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at this. This is the Hemistorm Pentabody. And I'm feeling kind of down right now, guys, because this actually should be a very special day and this should be a very exciting day for me. And unfortunately, it's been a big letdown. Now, you must be wondering why am I why am I saying all this? The body looks pretty good, you know, and there's not going to be any kind of special video or any kind of flashy video for this because unfortunately, I had a very bad experience having this body painted. And they say that you shouldn't act on things when you're angry. And I've let myself calm down for a couple of days now, but I'm still angry. And there's nothing I can do about that, so I'm going to share this video with you guys and explain to you this situation that I have going on right now. Now this is the Hemistorm Pentabody. It's a nine piece body altogether. It's normally five pieces. The front, the roof, the two sides and the rear. But then you can add on the four fender flares and make it into a short course. Into, so you have an open wheel choice or a closed wheel choice and it's got some quick change paint on the fenders. I've owned this body for four years and I've waited four long years to get this body painted. And I wanted to do something special. I didn't want to paint it myself. I wanted to wait one day when I found a really good artist and ask them to paint it for me. And I waited a long time to have this body painted. And it is probably the one of the most difficult bodies on the market to paint. And it is the most beautiful body for the fifth scale for the 5T on the market. You could spray mud on this body and it would look beautiful because it's 10 times better than the stock low C 5T body. So I had this body for many, many years and I asked the painter that had done work for me once before to spray this body and I communicated with him, told him everything that I wanted on the body. I told him I wanted a pearl blue with gunmetal and silver incorporated i wanted the vent areas done in a gunmetal with some detailing done in there but they're just black and i wanted it personalized for me now everyday rc is who i am that's what everybody knows me as i'm chris the everyday rc guy and this is the face you know that my low c5t is the face it's the flagship vehicle of my channel so this was very special to me because the Everyday RC is, is a business. It's my business and this is the face of my business, okay? So this is very special to me, okay? It may not be special to other people, <clears throat> but when you're a business owner, you should make your customers feel a little bit more special, a little bit more like an individual. And unfortunately, I was not treated that way, guys, okay? I told him I had a low C5, uh, low C Penta body, Hemistorm Penta body, and he gave me a price that I thought was reasonable. That day, I put it in an oversized box. I have these air packs that I get from work, and each individual body panel was floating on a bubble of air. It was in a, in a, in a probably two and a half by two and a half foot box. And I could have spent less money and put it in a smaller box, but I spent $22 to ship this body. One stayed over from me. I probably could have drove there, but I'm so busy with my work schedule. I put it in an oversized box and I shipped it and it got to him the next day. And right in top, right on top of that box, I had a Ziploc bag with a t-shirt, an Everyday, RT, Everyday RC t-shirt, stickers, and the number plates. There are supposed to be four number plates for this body, and they're missing. I wrap the box up in this high quality tape. And what does this tape say right on it? Camper proof. Now anybody that knows me knows that I'm very thorough and I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I wrap that box up perfectly. I wrapped it up in many layers of paint, tape, this tape right here that I'm holding in my hand. 
and I put the Ziploc bag of my t-shirt, stickers, and the number plates right on top. Number plates are missing. He said that when the box got to him, it was crushed and the tape was peeled back. And the only thing that was missing were the number plates. But he got the shirt and he got the stickers. But he, he, he lost the number plates. Now, listen, I'm a New Yorker and I wasn't born yesterday and I'm a grown man. You lost my number plates and you won't fess up to it. Okay? And those of you that know me know that I don't make videos like this. And I don't like to complain, and I don't like to mag micromanage people. I treat people with respect. I treat them like grown men. You're a grown man. You're a business owner. I'm not going to micromanage you. If I if I feel that you should be able to do your job properly, you're a, you're a business owner. I shouldn't have to stay on top of you about everything. But apparently you do. Okay. So that's why I'm putting this video up to you guys. I'm not going to be telling you who this person is. I'm not out here to slander them. You will not be seeing their name. You will not be seeing their business. In fact, I asked him to personalize his body for me. And he put his name on it three times. There's not one everyday RC. That's my sticker over his, his logo. If this is the flagship vehicle for my channel, for my business, why would you put your name on it three times? Because you only care about yourself, obviously. Okay? Now, I shipped this. He got this box the next day. He confirmed that he received my package and he said he would get to it as soon as possible and he didn't get to it for two weeks. The next day on Facebook, I see that he pre-ordered a bunch of the Proline Ford Raptor X-Max bodies and that was his main priority, painting the X-Max body so he could be the first person to paint the X-Max body and I got pushed aside and I said, you know what, okay, he's a businessman, he's doing his thing, he's got his hustle going. Let him do his thing. He's paid them X Max bodies. My body got pushed aside, even though it, obviously it's not first come, first serve when it comes to him. I said, let him do his thing. Let him do his hustle. He's painting the X Max bodies. I figure when he gets to mine, it's going to be insane. That's not the case. Because where is he right now? He's on vacation sipping some margaritas under a palm tree somewhere in Florida. Because right before he went on vacation, he rushed through this job and now he's gone. I received the box. I, I showed it on my Instagram page that I had popped it up. I had opened up. It was wrapped in shrink wrap, but there was nothing protecting each panel from rubbing on one another. And when I received this and I started unwrapping the, the body panels, every single body panel has some kind of imperfection. My number plates are missing, and you can't buy those individually. So I have to call up DDM and see if they can do something for me. So long story short, guys, I'm not happy with this body. It does look beautiful. It, it, it looks good, but you know what? I could have did this myself, guys. And if you call yourself a professional painter and you do this every single day of your life, you can't even tape off taillight sections properly. The taillight sections are bled through, and he told me that this was going to be showroom quality. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking that I'm acting a little crazy right now because the paint job looks beautiful and it looks good, but it's the body that's doing the work right now this penta body is beautiful you could spray mud on this and it will look good and those of you that know me know that i can paint and i could have did this myself but i sent it to a guy who i thought was going to do an above average job and i felt like this job was rushed he just wanted to collect his money and go on vacation and that's not how you treat your customers i work in a retail shop we have one of the most successful shops on long island where i live and we are we have prided ourselves on our customer service no customer should ever walk away from a transaction feeling uncomfortable you lost my number plates you didn't do what i asked you to do and you personalized it for yourself and that's not cool you should consider that a blessing that i will publicize your business on my channel and you should take that seriously but you didn't take it seriously and you rushed through it and you know what? Not everybody gets that opportunity in life. And you don't deserve to have your name said on my YouTube channel. All right? So if you know who this guy is, stay away from him. I'm not going to say his name. And if you don't know who he is, guys, take it as a learning lesson. Whenever you send something to somebody, take a picture of it. Communicate with them. Micromanage them. Make sure you say what the contents of the box is, all right? 
and you so you don't have any kind of problems because you think you can trust people in this world but you really can't okay and even when you pay for something you can't get what you want so this is a learning lesson and you know what I should have also did I should have painted it myself I have a very busy life but you know what I should have did is I should have taken this four years even if it took me four years to paint this body I should have did this myself it's a learning lesson so it's kind of an interesting video today guys bittersweet in a way because it's supposed to be a happy day it's supposed to be able to really showcase this thing but there's a lot of imperfections on his body and to me I think it's a little ridiculous this is how I received this and not to mention you can't see it on the roof because I actually took some black sharpie and backed up the paint that was missing this right here this is basically carelessness right here I know a little something about painting and right here you know what that is that means that he sprayed the blue and there was a piece of tape or clear film or something that was on there that he didn't see so he had already laid his blue down and there was something some kind of dust or debris on the body so he removed that and then whatever he backed it with that's what showed through so that's carelessness right there maybe you should slow down buddy maybe you should take your time a little bit more all right guys this is chris from everyday rc signing off